again so my plan is that um since we're kind of cooped up i wanted to try something different i wanted to have some kind of movement some flow some relaxation some yoga in it and of course i want to have my essential oils in it so what i'm going to do is over the next however long it takes it's going to be quite sporadic it's not going to be on an organized same day every day but I'm going to do one aerial yoga movement per day on a live and I'm going to combine it with one uh, essential oil um, and I shall be reading from this book the emotions of essential oils and just going through A to Z essential oils and um, one aerial yoga movement so just kick it off i'm going to start with abhora vitae and i'm going to combine it with a shavasana just the most basic a kind of little shavasana flow so i've never done aerial yoga before i do know something about essential oils so it's going to be an interesting kind of mashup so arba vitae known as the tree of life. So if you are Canadian or you know anyone who's Canadian and you get, get a chance to try this or let them try it, they will instantly recognize it because it's from a tree that grows, it's Thuya Piccata and it grows really, really tall. It's huge and it's, hi Lauren, um, it grows really tall. It's native to Canada and other parts of the world and it just has such a um, specific smell and if you've, if you've been walking in the woods and you've grown up in Canada you will just instantly recognize it. So I like to, like all trees, it's very grounding and yet uplifting and these, when you see these in the, in the wild they are huge trees that can live really hundreds of years, a very long time. And they just smell fantastic. So that's one of the things I absolutely love about essential oils, especially now, is I get to bring the wildlife, the nature inside. I get to get, bring all these plants from all over the world in a sustainable, responsible way into my home and into my senses and into my consciousness, subconsciousness. So this oil <clears throat> is known for its divine grace. It assists, um, it's, it assists us to believe or act like all progress must be made through struggle and solitary... Oh, it assists people who tend to believe or tend to act like all progress must be made through struggle and solitary effort. Instead of trusting in the divine, some of us tend to block the divine aid and choose instead to struggle on our own. These times in particular are really showing us you know the, the power of support of being able to support each other in our communities online or otherwise <clears throat> so Arba Vitae addresses the need to control one's outcome in life it invites us to live with peace and joy <clears throat> by trusting in the abundant flow of grace it's a grounding oil that teaches us that divinity is all around us and it can be experienced here and now, just as nature is all around us and we can bring it into our homes, even if we can't get out and about as much as we would like or travel as much as we would like. <clears throat> it helps us to find balance in life and teach us what to hold on to, what's really important and what we can let go of, which is really timely, frankly. Its Latin name means to sacrifice. So it invites us to sacrifice our own personal will and ambitions to a far more satisfying and fulfilling way of living in divine flow and surrendering to what will be. So it teaches that true, true, true strength can come through emptiness or a willingness to receive what it is that we need to receive. It asks us to relax, take a deep breath, and trust in the flow of life. It assists the soul to live effortlessly by divine grace. So that is the purpose of this oil on this planet, according to this rather beautiful book, which is a particularly timely, very needed lesson. 
So it makes sense that it, I should uh, combine it with the first uh, flow in this book, which is the Shavasana, uh, a kind of a Vashavasana flow. So I can't do full Shavasana because sadly my hammock, my yoga sling is not big enough, so I'm going to have to order an, a bigger one when I, when I can, but I'm going to just make do with what I've got. So you want your hammock, or obviously you can do it on, on the floor as well, um, but you want it to be sort of hip height or lower, and just going to lie down and stretch out. So you can have your arms over your head or by your side, and just relax. It is actually, although I can't fit my feet in here, <laughs> it's still quite relaxing. It you, sort of helps you see things from a different perspective. So from here it's really easy to then stretch side to side. It's nice to have a little bit of movement when you're swinging. I can bring my legs up over my head and use gravity to try and bring my feet toward my knees towards my face. And then I can roll on my side. And although I don't have a lot of space here, I can actually walk on the walls. And do a side stretch. Come back to, to centre. And I'll just do a little back stretch. Back bend. And back to Shavasana. Hmm. So that's the first of my. I don't know if you could hear me in there. I'll have to. Uh, learn how this works but that's the first of my little A to Z aerial yoga essential oil <sighs> experiments so um, yeah it's gonna be fun okay so coming up next will be B for basil okay let's take care babe.